Hi everyone, we're back. Um, session four of Sunbeams at St Giles. Hope you've all had a good couple of weeks. Uh, shall we start with some singing, like always? Okay, ready Peter? <laughs> Dive into the special bag and see what we've got. <laughs> he gets far too excited with this bag, children. Oh, he's got something. You ready? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. What is this, children? Looks like a little fishy to me. Can anybody think of a nursery rhyme with a fish in it? I'm thinking fish and counting. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. I'm hoping some of you know that one. So, are you ready? Peter's not going to be very good at this because he's not got as many fingers as we have. So, let's show him your good fingers. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> well done, Peter. Very good. Shall we see what's next? Come on, Peter, off you go. Oh goodness, it's it's quite a big clue. <coughs> the best I could do. Right. Can we tell what this is? There we go. That's better. What is it, Peter? Rabbit. A bunny, rabbit. Bunny, 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 bunny. Um now for this one I'm thinking, oh, I'm hoping you've got some space. You're gonna need a little bit of space for some lying down and moving around. Oh there we go. Peter's ready. He's lying down. So I'm going to do the singing and you're going to listen carefully to hear what the actions are. Okay, ready? Yes. See the sleeping bunnies till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still, are they ill? Wake up soon. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. See the sleeping bunnies till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still are they ill? Wake up soon. Jump little bunnies, jump, jump, jump. Jump little bunnies, jump, jump, jump. Jump little bunnies, jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Well done. <coughs> I think you used up lots of energy in that one, children. We've got one more today. So, Peter, can you find the last one? Oh, oh in his mouth again read it oh <laughs> where's it gone peter where's it gone found it <laughs> thanks sam right a little star now i'm sure all of you can think of a nursery rhyme with a star in it and today we're going to do it a little bit differently so sam and i are going to sing this song with makaton sign language but lots of you will know some different actions. So you can either copy what we're doing or do your own actions. Now for this one, Peter's going to sit and watch, hopefully, and Sam and I are going to do the actions. Okay, you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Should we do that one more time? Maybe now that you've seen it once you'll copy some of the actions you saw some of the signing you saw. Right, are you ready? 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that and learnt something new, mummies and daddies. Um, so, let's get comfy, ready for story time. Okay, so our story today is all about a man called Zacchaeus. And this is Zacchaeus for our story today. And Jesus is also in our story. Say hello to Jesus, everybody. Peter's playing Jesus. You can see that we've got a tree. And also we've got a crowd of people. You see them here. So our story is found in the Bible in the book of Luke. So people were crowding the streets to see Jesus. Zacchaeus wanted to see him too, but he was too short. Can you see? He's trying to jump over the people to see Jesus, but he can't see. He's too short. Zacchaeus spotted a tree and thought, I know, I'm going to climb up this tree so I can see Jesus. Now, Zacchaeus was a tax collector. His job was to take money, take tax money from the people and give it to the king. Nobody really liked him very much. So as Jesus was passing by, he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Zacchaeus, come on down. I want to go to your house. Zacchaeus went down the tree as quickly as possible. Jesus was talking to him. Zacchaeus didn't know how Jesus knew his name. Zacchaeus hadn't told him his name. So off they went to their house. Zacchaeus is going to see Jesus. A crowd of people stood outside the house. They were not very happy. They were moaning. Why is Jesus going in there? Zacchaeus told Jesus, I will give money to the poor and I will pay back anyone who I have done wrong to. In fact, I will give them back more money than I took from them. Jesus was so happy that Zacchaeus was going to make things right and do good things. I hope you enjoyed that story everybody about Zacchaeus uh, meeting Jesus. Uh, so we're going to think about how we are so very special to God. Do you remember in the story that Jesus knew Zacchaeus' name? But Zacchaeus hadn't told Jesus his name. Jesus just knew. That's because Jesus loves all of us and knows all of our names. I've got a little game for you to play now. Um, hopefully you've got some people in your house with you who can play with it too. All you need are your hands. We're going to do some clapping. And I'm hoping that you can clap out some of the names of the people in your house. So I'll start with my name. So I'm Kirsty. So you ready? Kirsty. Kirsty. Uh, let's think. Who was in our story? We had Jesus. You ready? Jesus. Jesus. Who else was in our story? Can anyone remember the name of the main character who had to climb up the tree? That's right, Zacchaeus. Ready? This one's a bit trickier. Ready? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Well done. Now, Sam's not sitting here with me at the moment, but we could do Sam, couldn't we? So we've got Sam. And then my two children are called Emma and Grace. Emma. 
Grace. Maybe you could give that a go. Think about the names. Maybe you've got some brothers and sisters. You could do your brothers and sisters' names. Or some friends from school or nursery. Or you could do Mummy. Daddy. Have a think and see how many you can think of. So, you can play that one at home. Going back to our story. So in the story, Jesus had never ever met Zacchaeus before. But he knew his name and he knew exactly what Zacchaeus needed. And that's the same for us too. Jesus knows all of us and knows exactly what we need. He cares about all of you who are watching. He loves you all and he made us all really special. So I've got a little song for you to do today and it's got some actions. I'm going to put the words on the screen. Um, so mums and dads, you can read the words and then copy the actions. So I'm going to sing the first part and then you copy it back to me. So are you ready? I am special. Don't you see? Someone very special. Because God made me. Well done. Should we do that one again? This time I'll sing both parts. Ready? I am special. I am special. Don't you see? Don't you see? Someone very special. Someone very special. God made me. God made me. Well done, everybody. I think you probably recognise that tune. So, we've got a little challenge for the week ahead. So in our story, Zacchaeus knew that what he did was wrong. He knew it was wrong to take money from the people in the story. And he knew he had to make things better. He had to make things right by giving the money back to them. So sometimes we do things that are a bit wrong. So we might, let's have a think, we might shout at our mummies or daddies or brothers and sisters. Sometimes we might find it difficult to share our toys with friends. Sometimes we might not do very good listening to our mums and dads. And when we do something wrong, what do we need to say? Sorry, that's right. We say sorry to people when we've upset them and done something wrong. And sometimes there's times where we need to say sorry to Jesus as well. So, your challenge for this week is to have a think and see whether there's anybody you need to say sorry to <clears throat> and say sorry to God for. So your prayers could be something like, uh, Dear God, I am sorry for getting cross at my little brother. Amen. Yeah, you could have a little think and do some sorry prayers. Uh, that's it for this week. We will be back at some point in November. I'm not sure on what date, but we'll be back then. Okay, bye. See you soon.